I state to my parish, I carry a badge. Thank you for allowing me to be a part. You've served for many, many years in this town, haven't you? How many years? Yes, 32 years. 32 years. So you had personal dealings with, uh, with, Never with this Uncle much. George. Oh, that's, that's, yes. that's a good thing. Yes. As these elements of spirit float around us, yes. what is this odd element that just floats around us in this space? I don't want to mislead you or discourage you, uh, but uh, some people don't believe in demonic spirits, but they are there, and they can cause confusion and disruption of people's lives. I'm sure the cleaning crew discovered something they should not have discovered. I can't surmise or compromise applicable manners of so the formidable business that was transcribed in inner in, in, I'm quite confused here, so I just, I want to listen and see what you think. It's because of your uncle. Oh, and he told me things. I can't say anymore. I don't. I just want to observe. I love it. The person with all the information just wants to observe and take it all in. I love that. I um, gain more information. You learn more by not speaking. It's like he thinks that one of us is guilty. Uh, now you, oh, I wish you wouldn't have said that, you're, you're, but I'm afraid you're, I'm afraid you're right. See, you. I believe that Uncle George has paid him before he left to that anything was going to happen to come back oh. to make sure that everything was put right. How do you know that? How do you know that? Why are you saying that? How in the world? All right. Because I'm just... Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's um, think about it. Could it be a very dirty spirit? <laughs> yes. I, I don't even think it's a spirit. I just think it's... Well, unless we're talking about pieces of Uncle George that decayed from his body. Yeah, I mean, there's always that possibility that it's dust. God created man out of dust. When we die, we go back to dust. Then. That's what's happened here. You know, the cleaning crew, we, we were talking about the cleaning crew. They, I mean, they did an amazing job on the walls. They could have done a little bit better on the floors, but... And they just disappeared. Yes, I, I'm yes. sorry. I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. All of us, are we not? And, and then we're pointing fingers at each other. We have to be careful about that. I see, yes, some people in here look um, very yes, suspicious. Sometimes, yes, yes. Very suspicious. A lot of suspicious actions have gone on here today, which makes me wonder exactly what happened and maybe whether the answers lie in the garden or in the town but you know, now we have this dust and so if there's we have to try to find out where it comes from you know, if we find out where it comes from we might be able to find the body there are physical things that have taken place it's not all spiritual but at all now you perceive it Someone is responsible. Yes, and yes, said. and so, you know, for our law enforcement friend over here, that's another mystery that he's trying to solve. What happened to the cleaning crew? Well, I would, I would go and venture that direction, but it, I would require somebody to go with me. Covering up the okay. animals, I suspect. <laughs> Maybe 
the, the cleaning room didn't come here, but I'm no, really they, they came about here. This. They came here. They did a really good job. The the walls are being cleaned. You didn't see this place before they came here, but no. I mean, no, I could have only imagined. It's not just the uh, when you see things and accept those of hundred percent true because it might be this information came to your mind with different ways psychologically anything is possible but how does that explain the fact that the place is clean and their van is still parked outside and they're missing this is the where, only where could they have gone it is here right um, but uh, in comparing these conditions, like when you see the mountain, it's a white mountain, but it doesn't mean that all the time it's white. You look, look, you look at the mountain. There is a, a direct sunlight which shows the yellow, and then cast shadow which is black, and sky colors which is blue. As a result, the white mountain is not a white. And that somebody has stolen the white mountain. So, I mean, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Pete, would you mind accompanying me? Yes, uh, all those that you have seen, it doesn't, it could be just a uh, came into just visual perception with different ways, some kind of magic it could be, but not exactly uh, cleaning crew could come and clean it up, those uh, blood. Right, but it still doesn't explain how the van is still parked outside and, you know, what what, what <laughs> happened to the cleaning crew? I mean, it, it everything is perception, but, you know, what, what happened to the cleaners? Interesting way to look at it, but let's take it from the, let's say, more um, normal perspective. They are very nice young cleaners and they are cleaning a lot so they're getting into action and then they see the laundry catalog and they take a look into it and then they disappear. So um, they probably went straight to Walmart because they wanted to buy the stuff for the girls. And then so now you're saying that the catalog is a portal to Walmart? Well, that may be, but maybe they just went by feet. I don't know where the next Walmart is. Oh, would you walk to Walmart from here? I mean, this is in the middle of nowhere. I mean, that this is one of the reasons Uncle George built this place here, is that it's so far away. Gosh, the dust is getting to me. <clears throat> you yeah. know, every time I come here, I... I <clears throat> to breathe. Yeah, I can my understand. tenant definitely needs to do something about the air quality. It's really, yeah. really poor, you know. And we've talked about that. Sorry to change the subject, but um, it just annoys me that it's so dirty here still. I mean, the walls are, you know, well done and well cleaned, but the dust. But that that does take us back to the the missing. Cleaners. Well, truth of everything that's going on, I feel like this Ooh. is like a big game of Clue here. Like, Ooh. nobody really knows what the hell is going on here, and uh, I feel like uh, I'm going to be the one left holding the bag at the end here. Why is that? What What happened upstairs? <laughs> that's What's that? I hear a voice. Uncle George coming back to haunt us, perhaps? To God here, and uh, the Amen, and uh, his his word. Um, oh, yes, yeah. I'd be glad to. Yeah. yeah. I think that uh, that would be, that would be nice. God, we know you like humor, and you are, and you like people who are creative. We having fun, and the thing is, Lord, you've brought us together in this very unusual place, an unusual situation, and yes, we're 
<laughs> creating in a, a, a make-believe world, but it's all in fun. And we thank you. We can be serious and we can still be funny. And so, Lord, I just pray for each person in this room that they will come to know you as Lord and Savior and uh, that they will be encouraged in their spirit. For God is at work in these troubling times, encouraging people with the Spirit of the Lord. We thank you for humor and for creating ability and for this, for all space in this most unusual world that we could talk to one another across the world, get to know one another. So I thank you for protection over their lives from this terrible sickness that's ravaged our land. I, I pray for their families, for protection, a covering around their life. Lord, let that uh, a presence just minister to each heart, knowing that they're secure in the word of the Lord. And so, bless each encouragement, laughter, that creative ability, that the things that we do in here, trying to create a movie or a will minister to other people, cause them to laugh, to think, to wonder, and just uh, contemplate on the humor and the seriousness of people's lives that are in all space. We are real people in all space, all space with real souls, with real hearts. We are real people, and we need to laugh. We need to express ourselves. And so this through Mr. E and John's very unusual way to express our, ourselves while we are locked up in our home because of this herbal disease. So we thank you for this moment of time. Thank you for blessing these people here and encouraging them. I, I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us to figure out and to find the solution to the things that have happened in this home right now. And everyone says, Amen. 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 I think God is at work here. Uh, what if he can't get back? I can't go through it. It must be a preacher thing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We, yes. Yeah, we can yes, hear you. Yes. I, I, Are you stuck? You were above me. You were above me. I'm underneath you. Oh. Okay. And you see us? Yes, I see you. you know, we can't you see you. I'm under the floor. Huh, maybe you found Uncle George's secret passageway. I don't know. I don't like this. Look for the gold <clears throat> and the diamonds. Well, I'm looking. I'm going to go back to the main hall to get back upstairs. Wow, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah considering the passageway. Yeah. I was in the hallway. When I moved, I went to the wall on the other side and wound up deep down on the way below the building. I could see you clearly as can be by looking up. Oh, that's very strange. M Mystery tried to follow you and, and couldn't get through. It sounds like you have yeah. some sort of power that allows you to get through there. I'm investigating in a very unusual way and there was nothing in that wall. I think the answer could be inside of a wall. Hmm.